What's up YouTube? It's Steve and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get rid of this clear light on the Ninja Coffee Bar. So stay tuned. So on a lot of uh, forums and uh, websites that deal with the Ninja Coffee Bar, I see a lot of people having the same issue and that's getting rid of the, uh, the clean light on the Ninja Coffee Bar. And I know a couple times shortly after I got it, I had an issue where even after it was cleaned, it would still stay on. But since then, uh, things have kind of settled in. I haven't had any problems with it in several months. And my coffee pot, my Ninja Coffee Bar gets regular use. And I mean like seven days a week. I, I drink coffee. Um, I take coffee with me going to work. I take it um, on Sunday mornings as we get ready to go to church. And I also drink some when just sitting around on Saturdays uh, shortly after I get up. So this thing gets regular use. And with that, the light only cuts on maybe once every couple months. Um, so I waited on th making this particular video until this light cut on. It actually cut on uh, a couple days ago. Now, I just want to say it doesn't prevent you from making any coffee. Uh, it really, if you're having the issues that I've seen a lot of people have, is more of an annoyance than anything. So I'm just going to walk you through uh, what I do to get rid of it and hopefully this can help you guys out. Now I'm gonna be, if you see me looking down, I'm gonna be looking at this here. This is a little cheat sheet that my wife made for doing this simply because uh, you don't do cleanings on this thing on a regular basis, meaning like once a week or once every couple of days. You do it every once every couple of months or so. So with that being the case, don't really have time to go and find a book and read try to read font that's 0.5 trying to make sense of what's going on so she just made a quick little cheat guide and I'm gonna walk you through that all right so this is a zoomed in shot of the ninja coffee bar and you can see right here my uh, clean light is on the first thing you want to do is make sure that cup selector dial is set on carafe and by that I mean full carafe so that's going to be your rightmost position here. Um, I know a lot of people go ahead and take this sticker off but I left it on because it has the layouts of um, everything from a small cup all the way up to a full carafe. So anyway you want to make sure that that's set on carafe size and uh, make sure your carafe is in there. Next you want to take this reservoir here Okay, so this is the uh, reservoir for the Ninja Coffee Bar, and you can see right here there's a small cup. Right above it there's a travel mug. You're going to fill up to that travel mug line. You're going to fill it with vinegar. Now when you buy this thing, Ninja, uh, they really want you to use their descaling solution. Um, and you can actually get a container of this uh, free with the exception of shipping. You have to pay for shipping. And I just feel like rather than spend the money for shipping, I can go to Costco and for the cost of shipping, I can buy a container of uh, distilled vinegar in this size um, and use it for multiple purposes rather than just one simple uh, descaling solution. All right, so like I said, we fill this... Uh, up to the travel mug size and what we're going to do is fill the rest of this with water. All right so now that we've got that set and sitting on the uh, Ninja coffee bar what we're also going to do is push in the uh, filter container. I don't take the filter out of this because I feel like I need the whole thing sterilized so I use the I leave the filter that came with the Ninja coffee bar right in there. All right so at this point I usually keep this drip stop closed simply because I don't like water dripping all over the place but here we're going to go ahead and release it and we're going to press that clean button. Okay at this point you may be able to hear it, it's hissing a little bit, it's running a little bit of water through, you can see it down there at the bottom and you also see in the bottom right hand corner here it says clean and it gives you a time. It's going to take one hour to do this. I know initially it's running water through there pretty quick and if you look at the reservoir um, it's come down a little bit but trust me this whole thing is going to take an hour to go through. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it let it do its thing and then we'll come back in an hour and pick up because there's a little bit more to do after this. So stay with me. 
All right, guys, so it's been an hour, and you can see not much water. If you look at the reservoir here, not much water has actually uh, left the tank, but it's getting ready to drain through now. And actually, while it still says it's in clean mode here, this light is no longer solidly on, it's flashing. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna go ahead and flush the rest of that water and vinegar through the system, and then it's gonna need to be flushed. So if you give me just a second, we're gonna wait for this to finish flushing through, and then we're gonna do a flush cycle. Okay, at this point it's done, and you can see right here on the panel, it's saying that it still needs to be flushed. So what I've done is I've, took, I've taken the reservoir off and rinsed it out, I'm going to go ahead now, remove the carafe, rinse it out, and I'm going to fill this reservoir all the way to the max fill line. Let's see. It's beeping because I turned the drip stop back on. Um, but I'm going to fill it all the way to this max fill line full of water and uh, flush it. Okay, so at this point, we've got the water reservoir filled to the top full of water. Now, right after I did that, uh, I went ahead and I rinsed out my filter as well as my carafe. And we're going to go ahead and hit clean one more time. You see it's flashing down here in the corner. We're going to hit that. And this whole flush system, or flush process rather, is going to take about 10 minutes to do. And what that's doing is... It's flushing all of the, uh, the stuff that you use because if you remember when you did the cleaning, you either used the descaling solution in water or vinegar in water. So all of that stuff has gone through the system and while it's cleaned out the system, there's there may be trace elements in there. So I know in my case, like uh, I uh, use vinegar. So flushing this through with hot water is gonna eliminate that uh, vinegar flavor. And I can tell you I've had no problems with uh, any weird tastes in coffee or anything like that. It works like a charm. So we're going to let this go ahead and do its uh, run its 10 minute course and then we're going to come back and take a look. Alright guys, we're back. Um, actually, I gave an incorrect time on that flush. Uh, I stated the flush takes 10 minutes, it actually takes 8 minutes. Uh, but either way, like, you, like I said, uh, the water is flushed all the way through the system. The carafe is full, which I'm getting ready to empty. And if you look down here, it's back to the regular time. There's nothing about a clean message, nor is the clean light on. All right, and there you have it, guys. It's a simple way to go ahead and clean out your Ninja Coffee Bar. I don't know what the issue may be with uh, some people, but I know with mine, the issue sometimes is just rushing through. I know we live in a society in a day and time in which we want things quick, fast, and in a hurry. But sometimes it just takes a little bit of slowing down and just going through the paces. So if this has helped you guys out, please do feel free to drop comments down in the uh, comment section below. Also, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, please do feel free to share the video with others. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing as it really does help the channel out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.